The official FIFA World 11 is out now and of course it has caused a few controversies. By and large I feel like the team is completely fair. But yeah, Manuel Neuer should have been there, Hansi Flick should have been manager of the year. But apart from that, the outfield players that feel like everyone is there based on merit. One thing that bugs me with the World 11 is we never get to see these players in action together like how things work in the NBA. It's too complicated to get done with in football, I understand that. But would have been nice to see something like that happen, you know, seeing Messi... Uh, Ronaldo play together but oh well but what we're gonna do today in FIFA is trying to replicate that basically but of course we're gonna be adding our own twist we're taking the worst team in the Premier League right now Sheffield United who haven't won a single game so far this season we're gonna give them as much money as required and sign the entire world 11 and we'll sim a season to see how things go this should be interesting there you go boys have given the club a billion pounds with 1.6 million in that wage budget that should be enough to sign all 11, maybe, we'll have to find out, but it's gonna be fun. We're definitely not rocking a 5 at the back formation, once we assemble the World 11, we'll figure something out, but if you guys are enjoying today's video, drop a like on this one, subscribe if you're new around here, let me know if you guys have any other crazy video ideas, and well, let's keep going. Okay, so I've shortlisted pretty much every player on the World 11, we'll just take a look at all of them, Lewandowski, what a season he's had. Messi has had a bit of an iffy season for his high standards, but his high standards get him at least in the World Eleven, regardless. Ronaldo is well again, similar to Messi, didn't quite live up to expectations, but still better than the rest, these two. De Bruyne, Thiago and Kimmich in midfield. Ramos being here, I think he deserves it, to be fair, now that I think of it, because in La Liga he was tremendous. Virgil van Dijk, Alfonso Davies is a bit of a rough one, I feel like Robertson had a better year overall. Trent Alexander-Arnold and Alisson. I don't understand how Alisson got in. It should have been Manuel Neuer, but oh well. Let's actually start off by signing um, Leo Messi. Why not? Let's get this done. 100 million for Messi. Is that going to work? If we can get Messi for like 100, I'd 100% be down. There you go. 100 mil for Messi. Perfect. I think we can give every player who we're signing for this video like a crucial squad role. It really won't make a difference. What I'm wondering is how difficult is it going to be to convince Leo Messi to join Sheffield? Out of all teams, like Sheffield, yep, that's, yeah, it's it's going to be interesting to see how difficult it is for him to accept this. He's only willing to give us a year on his contract, which is also super interesting. No release clause. That's all on his demands. 100% that works for me. He takes a big wage cut to join Sheffield United of all teams. Only in FIFA, ladies and gentlemen. Such stuff happens only in FIFA. Thiago is probably going to be the cheapest player to bring in. Let's actually try and delegate this signing. Offering anywhere between 60 and maybe 80 million? A little less than that. Let's go 75 and 60 million for uh, Thiago, the Spaniard, of course. What a season he's had. Let's see if that goes through. And apart from that, we might have to wait a bit on Alfonso Davies. Or we could try delegating him as well. We don't know much about him, so I'm going to scout him. Until then, let's try and sign maybe Cristiano Ronaldo. Just, just making more progress, come on. Okay, I'm trying 60 million for Cristiano Ronaldo. If that works, it'd be brilliant because... Yep, that's not going to work. 89 million is required. We're going to counter with about maybe 70 or 75. Let, let's 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 appreciate Ronaldo. Let's go 75 million for 35-year-old Cristiano Ronaldo. They won 82. Works with me. Let's get it done. Ronaldo's demands are much lower than Leo Messi. I'm surprised at that, but we'll accept it. Who cares? We've got enough money to do whatever we want right now with Sheffield. So, two out of the 11 players have been signed for this challenge. We're assembling the World eleven. At literally a club that has not won a Prem game this season. Oh my god. I'm doing the delegate thing to sign Alisson and we've agreed on 126 million. It's actually crazy how Alisson is more expensive than either Messi or Cristiano Ronaldo. But we'll accept that. We'll delegate the contract as well and hopefully he'll accept it soon. I'm still waiting on the Thiago deal whether to see if that'll go through or not. But... We're getting close to completing 4 out of the 11 signings. And there you go boys, progress has been made. About 73 million is required for Thiago, that, that works for me. We delegate his contract as well. Alisson has accepted the deal, we will accept this. That's the third player we've signed. Now that we know more about Alfonso Davies, we can go ahead and make this deal happen. Um, this one should be a, re a relatively simple deal, so we'll just delegate to buy this. And the Thiago deal is still ongoing, so we've got to wait for that. But let's now negotiate and bring Robert Lewandowski. By the way, guys, y'all think Robert Lewandowski's been robbed of the Ballon d'Or? I feel 100%, man. He, 
He deserved to win it this year, but they just cancelled the award for no apparent reason. I'm glad he won the best award, man. You guys know I love Messi. I'm a big Messi fan, but... I've got to be real, Lewandowski deserved the Ballon d'Or and the best award this year. I'm glad he won the best award, but about the Ballon d'Or, it's unlucky that it's been cancelled. This would have been one of the only times someone other than Messi or Ronaldo has won it, and that's been taken away from him. So anyways, 167 million is what we've settled with for, of course, Robert Lewandowski. Let's sign him up on the contract. Almost getting settled on the signing bonus and all. With that, Robert Lewandowski should be now a Sheffield United player. We're getting close to assembling the full team, boys. Come on. Sergio Ramos should be a super cheap transfer, guys, honestly, because of, you know, uh, him being out of contract very soon. We'll also submit offers for Kevin De Bruyne. This is going to be super expensive, probably the most expensive one. We'll, of course, do the delegating. In fact, I think we'll delegate literally every other transfer now just to save some time. Uh, who all are left? Trent and Van Dyke as well. Let's delegate all of them. Hopefully, we'll have enough money to afford all of them, man. We might need to, you know, pull up the cheat engine again to get some extra cash because... Yo, this team is super expensive. We're gonna have to spend more than a billion. Okay, so we've hit a bit of a roadblock with a few players like Thiago and Sergio Ramos. I messed up the negotiations with them, so I'm gonna have to do it again. But Van Dijk, Kimmich is a done deal. That is awesome. That's now, what, the fifth or sixth player we've signed. Trent is a done deal as well. And even, of course, Virgil van Dijk. The amount of money we're spending is just absolutely insane. In fact, now, we're going to have to wait a bit to get the van Dijk deal done. How much money do we even have left? Can we even afford the rest of the team? I don't think so. We might need to top up our budget with the help of the cheat engine. God bless the PC version of FIFA. There you go. Kevin De Bruyne is done as well. How many have we signed so far? That's four, five, six, seven, seven, seven done. And now we've got four to go. I'm just waiting until we can like negotiate again with Ramos and Thiago so we can get those deals done. Just completed the signing of Sergio Ramos. I had to do this manually because I don't know man, he just wasn't accepting the contract negotiations through the normal way. But we've got this wrapped up. I think now we've got like one or maybe two players left. Let's get them done. We're almost done signing the final player. That is of course Alfonso Davies. Honestly, this has been such a grind. I've been sat here for like 40 minutes or so trying to get all these transfers done. And finally, I think I'm done with them. Let's just offer Davies whatever he wants, man. I just want to get over with it and simulate and see how this team performs together. There you go. That's the final signing done. Come on. What's happening here? Why is my player not accepting? Okay, guys. We finally completed the final signing. That was Alfonso Davies. It took me a while, but we've got it done. We've assembled the World Eleven finally. Oh, it's been such a grind. But there you go. We've done it, guys. Look at that. We've paid so much money to make all this happen, but... Yeah, we've done it. We've absolutely done it. Look at this, guys. It cost us 1.3 billion pretty much to sign all the players into our team. That's mad. We've now finally put the entire World Eleven in a team here in career mode with Sheffield. And now our job is to sim until the end of the season and see how Sheffield United fare in the Premier League. I mean, they've got to be winning the league with the World Eleven. I mean, the best 11 players on the pitch, you've got to be winning the league at the very least. Player role-wise, I think Sergio Ramos has got to be the captain for this team. We'll have... Yeah, Messi taking free kicks. Nobody else has a free kick stat even comparable to that. And long free kicks will give that to maybe De Bruyne to whip it in. Uh, Lewandowski to take penalties? Nah, no, it has to be Cristiano Ronaldo. Come on. Corners will give them to maybe left corner for Thiago and right corner for De Bruyne. That works and that's how this team is going to run. Okay, now the simulation has come to a close and I'm going to be taking a look at the Premier League table. Now, come on, we've got to win the league with the World Eleven, haven't we? I'm also keen to see who ends up as our top scorer. Lewandowski, Ronaldo or Messi? Three big candidates, we'll see. You know what, let's start from the bottom. Sheffield haven't been relegated this season, that is good to see. We're in the top 10, are we? Yup, we are. Top 6 as well. Do we make it into the top four? We do make it into the top four. Hold on a minute. We make it into the top three. Top two as well. It's Man United finished third. And we've won the league. There you go. Sheffield United. We've only scored 73 goals, but we've conceded just 30. I guess having Van Dijk and Ramos helps you with that. But we won the league with a big margin. That is what, 11 points above City? Yo, there you go. There, there's your experiments answer. You put the World Eleven in any team in the world and it's going to make them the best team in the world. That is awesome to see. Did we like win any cup competitions? What about the FA Cup? Now nah, it's City who won that. Fair enough. Carabao Cup. Come on, give me that Carabao Cup. Man United won that. So we didn't really win any trophies apart from the Premier League. But I'll take that. You know, the Prem is the biggest trophy. Now, who won the Golden Boot in the Prem? 
Wow. None of our players in the top 5. Ronaldo scored 16, but Messi scored 15, so they were competing. W what about Lewandowski? De Bruyne isn't in here. What about Lewandowski? Assist wise, Trent, our top assister, with 9. Messi coming in with 8. Thiago with 7. Where's Lewandowski? Alisson with the most clean sheets with 18, but what the hell has happened to Lewandowski? He's been playing, I presume. Let's see. The gold records, who's been scoring the most for us? We'll find out now. We will find out now. It's Ronaldo with 18, Messi with 17, De Bruyne with 15. This Burke guy has scored 10 out of nowhere. Lewandowski with just 3 goals, wow. The current best player in the world with just 3 goals and he's gone down by 3 ratings on his overall. How did that happen? Did he get injured or something? Probably that. But yeah, there you go. The World Eleven has won the Premier League in today's experiment. Awesome to see. But with that, guys, this is where we're wrapping up today's video. I really enjoyed recording this. And if you guys enjoyed watching this, drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you're new around here. Let me know if you guys have any crazy video ideas. And well, I'll catch you all next time.